What's up guys, welcome to Tech Happens. And I had a little bit of a question. I was wondering, why do they call Bluetooth, Bluetooth? Like literally, where did that name come from? So, I did a little bit of digging, and it turns out that the story starts back in the 1990s. In the 90s, there were all these different companies making their own wireless communication platforms, but they were all independent. They weren't universal. So what that means is that if Samsung came out with a new wireless headset, that it wouldn't work on an LG phone or any other phone for that matter. Now that's just an example, but the point is, is it was causing a lot of stagnation in the industry. Stagnation, is that even a word? Oh well. You see, developers couldn't really develop without that universal platform. They couldn't gain any traction. Look at it this way. If there was a developer for Android that wanted to make a great new app and they put all this money into it, they would never get the money out of it because with this non-universal platform, all of a sudden this Android is only on a couple thousand phones. So, a lot of people in the industry saw this as a problem, but the one engineer that stood up was Jim Kardash. Now Jim was an engineer at Intel working with wireless communications and what he did is he brought all these companies together and he acted as the kind of like the middleman between them so that together they could create a new wireless communication standard for short range low power devices. All of their work would eventually be known as Bluetooth but still where did that name Bluetooth come from? Well one day Jim Kardash was working with one of his engineers, Sven Matson, and Sven brought up a new book that he had just finished reading that he absolutely loved called The Vikings by Gre Gre Gwen, Gwen Jones. In this book, there was a king that was a symbol of uniting competitive parties together, as he was a major player in uniting Scandinavia. The name of this king was Harold Bluetooth Gormiser and they named this new cross-platform, short-range, low-power, wireless communication platform after him, hence the name Bluetooth. As King Bluetooth United Nations, the new standard of Bluetooth would unite different cell phone companies together and even cell phones to PCs, which is something that wasn't heard of at the time. But that's not all. That weird-looking B that we all recognize as the Bluetooth symbol actually has the king's initials in it. However, obviously our language is much different than their language, which is why there's not a HBG in the middle of the symbol. But when we look at the characters in their language, as I'm showing you here, it makes a lot more sense, and we can clearly tell that his initials were implemented into the Bluetooth logo. And that's it. The more you know, the less you don't. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like if you liked it or a dislike if you hate Bluetooth. Feel free to subscribe. And until next time, stay frosty, my friends.